Electronic ignitions, are they worth it? We're gonna talk about it in the hangar. Welcome to In The Hangar, I'm Christy Wong. And I'm Dan Milliken. In The Hangar is brought to you by our wonderful sponsors like MPSProtects.com, Marshall Protective Services, Personal Protection Elevated. More on them at the end of the episode, but first, I this is a topic that I really wanna talk about yep. because I'm considering doing this in The Warrior, and who better then to discuss this with then James Spearman. So James, thanks for coming on. We've had you on a podcast before. You run a, a fairly large shop in Eastern Tennessee, and you are also a, a, a very big proponent of electronic emissions. So uh, tell us about yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, so started in the started in the military uh, as a mechanic, and then became an Air Force pilot. Uh, fly the KC-135. Uh, do that still full or part time with the Guard and. Uh, full-time running an aircraft maintenance shop uh, that comprises eight full-time AMPs. We're open seven days wow. a week. And we yeah. have, so uh, you're the one that took all the AMPs. And <laughs> there must be something really nice in eastern Tennessee to keep people there. Yeah, so no kidding. We have four IAs on staff. Together we have over 100 years of experience. That's amazing. Um, so, yeah, they uh, uh, a great team, but you got to pay mechanics nowadays. So they yeah. keep them around for sure. And and uh, have a good culture and all that stuff. So I guess with the eight on staff, you're able to, um, which is a rarity in the general aviation world, is move them through pretty quick. Yes, sir. So do you, ha do you have a specialty that you focus on? So just uh, based off of where we're located, right outside of Knoxville, Cirrus, we focus a lot on the Cirrus aircraft just because there's a huge number in our region. And uh, I mean, typically, um, you know, w once you knock out Saturday and Sunday and you're open seven days a week, that's that's where your biggest time time savings uh, becomes turning an airplane around. All right, let's talk about the electronic ignition. So um, as you guys are aware, we've talked about it a little mm -hmm. bit before, the Warrior's getting a new engine pretty soon. And um, for those of you guys that are not familiar with the Piper setup, uh, a lot of times in these older Pipers, you have to push the key in and then turn it. And uh, sometimes it can be a little cantankerous. And uh, so I, I've thought about it. I'm like, you know what, forget it. I'm just putting an electric uh, ignition in here. Forget this key nonsense. I actually had a key break in the ignition one time. Uh -huh. And it got stuck. And then I had to get somebody to come out and pull. It's just a mess. So talk to me about what an electronic ignition could do for me. Uh, and warrior. start with what it is. Yeah. Right. So starting with uh, aircraft like technology, especially engine technology, is still like in the 50s and 60s. Right. Magnetos is like tractor technology. Um, they're, uh, I wouldn't say like totally reliable, but they they do their job. They get the job done. They get the job done, but most, if you're a pilot and you fly quite a bit, you've been left at run up, you know, coming back from the beach or something from a, you know, a bad backdrop. Um, so it's, it's a problem. Um, what the electronic ignition system does is it removes um, either one or both magnetos, and it brings it into the 21st century. It's um, controlled by a computer. It has coil packs. Oh, does it um, have FADEC? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it, that uh, so FADEC is full authority. That 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 comprises the uh, the fuel system with it. That's what. Uh, FADEC has. That would this be is cool. A, this is a portion of it. Can we do like the first ever like FADEC Warrior? Because that would be really, really cool. You, you know, the funny thing is, uh, you know, Lycoming and Continental, I'm pretty sure they've, uh, I've seen it at Oshkosh. What? Uh, they've got FADEC systems to put on planes. So this is not an original idea? Well, the problem is the certification, oh. as I assume. If okay, we, should, we should bring Sears when they just... Uh, release their G7 and ask them why they didn't put FADEC on it. Okay. They've got that answer. Oh, really? Why there's okay. not a FADEC on it. But. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay, so we can't do FADEC, but we can replace either one or both of the magnetos. Right. What would you recommend, replacing one or both? So I typically replace one. Uh, you're getting 90% of the performance increase uh, just from one and the, kind of the healing properties. Uh, big problem with uh, magnetos is they are, it's kind of a weak ignition system, weak spark. And so it leaves a lot of, um, it does not burn the entire uh, fuel air mixture inside the cylinder. Um, so it leaves behind lead and carbon deposits yes, that eventually uh, will uh, cause you to have low uh, compressions uh, due to uh, kind of blockages in the seats and the valve 
uh, your valve seats, and then um, uh, your cylinders or the piston, there's an oil control ring, and normally uh, when you start having excessive uh, fuel burn or oil consumption is because that oil control ring is uh, getting locked. And so that's when you typically see, okay, you're burning, you're getting close. I'll, I'll have a customer tell me, hey, James, uh, we're starting to, you know, put one and two quarts in, you know, uh, after three or four hours or, or something. And then it gets closer and closer to one quart an hour. And then it's like, all right, I don't need to really run the charts here. You're, you're at full, you're at a, a top overhaul because all six cylinders are, are burning so much oil. Let me ask this. If... If, if it's giving you a better, stronger spark, does it make the cylinder burn hotter? It does. Okay. It does. So you're, you're actually burning the entire fuel-air mixture inside the cylinder, which is going to, positives are lower exhaust gas, temperature, uh, exhaust gas temperatures and uh, less deposits uh, that are left in it, but it is burning it all in the cylinder you still have to control that. Because we don't have FADEC on these, you're still controlling the fuel though. So you still have to control your mixture and control those temperatures. So on my big, um, you know, my 220, uh, 210 has a, a, IO, a TSI 0520, that's a big continental engine. Is Am I gonna have to now um, bring back my throttle because we're getting too high of CHTs? Uh, so I've been installing them on Cirrus aircraft with the 550. Uh -huh. Right. Ends and uh, A36 Bonanzas, we haven't seen any. Uh, real issues. You you don't you definitely don't have to bring the throttle back, but you may find yourself leaning more through the climb. Leaning more. Mm -hmm. So you need it'll. Uh, it's actually that's big proponent of the system is it uh, more efficient gives you fuel savings, and so okay. leaning through the climb will give you less fuel that it's burning inside the cylinder and bring those CHTs down. That's interesting. I I would have thought it would have been the other way around. Right. And have you ever noticed when you're doing a mag check, you know, you, you switch to the left and your EGTs rise, right? Yes. Right. EG, why? Because you're burning more because fire. Right. <laughs> so fire. Yeah. Specifically in the exhaust system. So it's not burning the entire fuel-air mixture in the cylinder, and more of it is burning inside, your, inside of the exhaust itself. And so when you flip off mag, you're seeing it get even worse. So more of the flame is going uh, into the exhaust. Right. It's, oh, that's it's interesting. combusting even more into the actual exhaust pipe. Okay. That today I learned. Because I actually was just seeing that the other day on my engine monitor when I did the run-up. Okay. And with an electronic ignition system, I can get a push starter and everything too, right? So that's the biggest, prettiest thing that you're going to see. <laughs> right. it, they have a really nice panel, and you've got two nice rocker switches, one for the mag if you leave it, one for the EIS, and then a push-button start. And um, it, you should see a significant uh, increase or make it quite a bit easier to start. Especially hot starts. Okay, no, that's okay. That was my next question, so that answers that. Um, is there a system like an electronic ignition system that you would prefer, or that you prefer to install over others, or is there just one? Right. So currently, I, there's kind of two big names out there: Surefly and Electroair. Um, Electroair is currently the only uh, you know true electronic ignition system. So when I say ignition system, it's re it's adding a computer coil pack. It's it's replacing the magneto. It is a true ignition system. Uh, Surefly is more of kind of like an electronic magneto. You're replacing the magneto, which most people hate magnetos. You're getting it out of there, but you're replacing it with something that doesn't have a stronger, hotter, longer spark. When you talk about the option of replacing one or both mags, what about the case where they have a dual mag system so they can't separate them out? Right, so this is a problem that a lot of uh, aircraft owners are faced with, and uh, there's not a lot of great options. Electro Air is one of those great options oh. uh, to replace. What's that. the option? Uh, you can you can use one of their systems to replace both that that dual mag system. So it would become uh, two elect uh, two electronic. Right. So I can't keep one mag. Right. Because like, what's the advantage? Um, I just don't know this enough. What's the advantage of having a one-in-one -one versus just all electronic? So uh, to start with, the electronic system needs a battery to, um, you know, to power it. The right. magneto needs nothing. It it creates its own spark. Right. Um, so you will need at least, um, you know, a backup, 
Uh, ElectroAir has a backup battery that you can flip it, it, it's armed and it will come online if, uh, if you lose power. But you need really, the best option is having two alternators really. Having a, an electronic system or electric system that runs one of them, another one that runs another. Uh, kind of, a lot, a lot of planes are going that way. They have dual redundant systems. It's not, uh, it would add some complexity to the uh, installation, but there's a lot of airplanes with two uh, al alternators already. It's not really a major deal. Well, okay. Um, but you've only got one alternator right now? Yeah. I've only got one alternator. One alternator. So, um, I mean, if, if you wanted to replace both of them at the same time, you know, we would, uh, you would have to add a second power system, which you might like because then if you lose one, you I just don't know where one. a second alternator would go in that engine compartment. That's the problem. Creative solution. Yeah, you, you'd have to get creative. I, I'm not... Uh, you know, I haven't installed on that plane specifically, but um, there are there are options. All right. So, uh, but for the most part, it's a, it to answer your question, it's a great option because Electra is the only one with the STC that allows you to replace both magnetos. Okay, let's talk about cost. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it's an it's a significant um, investment, but. Right there, like you're about to have an engine over a hole. Oh uh, no, I'm said. I'm actually swapping the engine out for a new one. Got it. Yeah. So you are going to mo most engines aren't going to make it all the way to TBO before they start having to change cylinders uh, due to lead deposits that uh, will uh, cause the valves uh, to to stick or get blocked or your oil control rings. So what you're doing is in the future. With less deposits, you're hoping that you can get all the way to 2,000 or significantly beyond without having to change any cylinders. Okay. And so I've been doing borescope pictures of every time I install them, I'll do the beginning of borescope pictures, and you can see the top of the cylinder that's all caked up with lead. Oh, great. Um, and uh, every, about every 50 hours. I kind of want to see hours, those now. Right. I wish I could show them, <laughs> but every 50 hours, I'll take another picture, and you can see it's it's cleaned off the top of the cylinder. So what you're saying is what you don't pay for in new cylinders, you're kind of using that cost for this system right. so what are we talking about like price point wise yeah it's um i i would have to quote it for the specific one that, okay, that we're fair. talking uh depending on the engine but, but ballpark yeah you're you're around the ten thousand dollar mark okay. to install it um but is that with installation or is that just the unit that's everything everything okay yeah. got it and it, i know the uh a lot of people kind of balk at how much labor goes into it but there's um like I said, it's it's not just taking the magneto off and putting this thing in there. It's mounting this computer, wiring it up, mounting the uh, the coil packs, um, creating custom brackets to set it up. And the coil packs go into the engine block area, of course. Um, what about if you don't have much room in there? Like I look at Lola, there's not a lot of room under that cowl. That's when uh, installers like myself have to get creative. Okay. <laughs> um, it's doable. Um, it's just finding, uh, I would say the, the TSI 0550 on the Cirrus is, there's almost no space. Really? So we had to get, uh, you know, creative uh, to install that one uh, and do it safely and legally and all that. But it's not an issue. Have you guys done one on a Piper Warrior previously? Not on a Piper Warrior no. yet, but Dang we've it. done it on, uh, you know, Grumman Cheetah and uh, the Tiger um, and Cherokees. So. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so he's done it on planes that even slower than the One Warrior. True, this is true. The big benefits that you love is it's easier to start, you get rid of the switch panel, and you notice the power increase on takeoff right away. You'll notice it off the, off the initial takeoff. It's got significant uh, horsepower increase, and uh, if you want to, you can have fuel savings, but remember, you're in control of that as the pilot. Right. So for the same fuel setting, you're getting a higher, you know, performance number. Now I will ask how, okay, so like with my magnetos right now, for example, I have to overhaul them and swap them out every 500 hours. Right. What does that look like with the electronic ignition system? Is there like a, do I have to swap it, inspect it? Like what is the deal with those? Nothing. So as long as it's working, we're good to go. Right. There's a visual check that you, you perform the ICA, instructions for continued airworthiness every annual, but that's kind of more of just a visual check. And these okay. are all STC'd for most of, 
our GA planes? Yes, most GA planes. I haven't ran into one that has not been improved yet. I'm sure there's might be somewhere out there. Have you run into any issues where you've had to replace these systems or they failed or anything like that? No, not not in our fleet. Um, I'm sure we will. And um, I, you know, my staff gets training from uh, from the you know electro air on how to troubleshoot and everything. But really, haven't had any issues with it. Really, uh, knock on. I don't see any wood anywhere. Yeah. But knock on aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm definitely getting more and more convinced to move this way once I get well, my new engine. Well, especially if you're doing a new engine. I mean, at yeah. that point, it's you're saving a little bit, yeah. So it might be a good idea because it'll also do well by the cylinders is what it sounds like. Yeah. Right. Okay. So benefits of what you get when you're flying, which, which that's kind of a pricey, you know, it's like, oh, you know, hard to justify that. But when you start, and there's fuel savings, but, you know, you're still not moving the needle. But when you look at future maintenance that you could be saving, that's when it starts to make sense. Okay, well, if there's anybody out there like me who is considering this, uh, where can they find you? Yeah, so they can go to spearmanaircraft.com. Uh, that's our website, uh, and uh, you can call us at, uh, we've got our main line, but I don't know if they. <laughs> that's fine. You don't know of what? Oh, I can. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you could put it out there, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's uh, 865-366. One four four nine. Yeah, okay. we'll put it on the screen. We'll put it in the description below. Awesome. So yeah, and uh, uh, I guess, and and they don't necessarily have to go to East Con uh, Tennessee. There's um, probably other places, shops that can do it. But I do think that if you are going to do something like this, it would be good to go to a, an A and P that has done a lot of them. You don't want to go to your A and P and it's like, well, first time. All right, how do we sure, do this? Sure, I can install this. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, they could they could learn it, and, and luckily Electro Air has been you know they they would help that mechanic. Okay, well they good. would, but that's a lot to drop. And your mechanic that doesn't do that ever might be like, uh, well, you and, know. You, and you've got eight mechanics who can move planes through pretty quick, so that's pretty. How high. long does it take to actually install oh, one of these? Oh, good question. Yeah, if parts are on hand, we can typically have it back in five days. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. All right, well, thank you again so much for coming on and <laughs> answering all of our questions, because this is a, a, a topic that I've personally been wanting to discuss. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching, and this is made possible by our wonderful sponsors like Flying Eyes, flyingeyesoptics.com, you get 10% off, if you use our discount code, taking off all caps, one word, Marshall Protective Services, Personal Protection Elevated at MPS. Uh, protects.com 67 designs the best camera tablet and phone mounts for your airplane 67d.com clemens insurance clemensinsurance.net jerry has saved me a lot of money colton mortgage at coltontakingoff.com z vision the brightest landing and taxi lights out there and of course thank you guys for supporting our channel please like subscribe share our content we'll see you all next time in the hangar mm -hmm.